Hi, I'm meteorologist Alex Liggett here in the Belford Furniture Weather Center. Everyone's been concentrating on Katya lately, whether it's going to make it to a hurricane status. Well, it should tonight into tomorrow morning. Something closer to home, though, that we need to watch, keep an eye on, is this low pressure here in the Caribbean Sea and into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, this is expected to move into the Gulf, and then it's going to intensify. All the local models, uh, different models that we use, are starting to say that it's going to develop somewhere in the Gulf of Mexico, which, by the way, has extremely warm sea surface temperatures. That's only going to help it. I think levels of shear will kind of diminish as well, give us a chance to get some development into the Gulf. That could be Lee in the next couple of days. We'll have to watch that. The good thing on our side, here's what we have to look forward to. Here's the low. We're going to have an area of low pressure and associated cold front move through our region and actually into our area Sunday and into Monday. And here's the different things that could happen with it. It actually could help catch this low pressure and swing it back up along the east coast, give us some heavy rain into the early middle parts of next week. But at the same time, it could actually swing far enough to the north where it does not pick up that circulation. And then a very strong area of high pressure is expected to move in behind that, and that could make it meander and move back to the west, actually make it move westerly and get back into Texas. So that's something we're going to have to watch over the next couple of days. Just want to let you guys uh, know about it just in advance so you have a little bit more uh, just leeway in your time to plan your activities for early and into the middle of next week.